This episode is sponsored by Squarespace. All right, welcome back to making the world's most dangerous articulating desk lamp. Um, also known as an angle poise lamp. This one's gonna be over 20 foot tall. Last episode, we were making this front cone for the shade, but we ran into some issues. Fun. What is she doing on my bean bag? Wow. You know, sometimes it takes me that long to get comfortable on the sofa too. So in the last episode, we rolled this ring and found that the ring and this thing do not interact very well at all. So I think what I'm gonna do now is roll a new ring. Tell me that doesn't look rounder. Get a little top-down action on that, you know what I'm saying? Little top-down. Oh, I, I don't know. What? You do, does it not? You don't want me to do it top-down. Oh, no. <laughs> From my angle, it looks rounder. No, it is rounder, to be fair. That's 100% rounder. It's rounder. So it was a case of putting the six mil wire in, little bit by little bit with the vice grips. Clamp, 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 about six inches of it. Tack weld, went the whole way around like that. Little by little, and I think it was able to Oh. Little by little, the sheet metal to the wire and make it more even. So you've just cut this little lift then, have you? Oh, I also did that. I trimmed that down because it was way too long. Um, so we've shortened down the flange and now it's time to roll that over. We kind of need to give it one of these thingamadoos. Mm -hmm. Right, bend this all around it. Pow, pow, pow. Jamie, do you remember a few minutes ago when I said that I had to trim the excess because there was way too much material to wrap around the round bar? Turns out, there was not enough material to wrap around the round bar, so we can still see our little spot welds. Yay! And so, that marks the completion of that component, but it doesn't mark the end of our playing with rings because all sorts of other bits need stabilizing. Rings made, welded on, so that it all gets built. weld the whole thing together because then it's going to be really big which is good for some things but bad for others and it's bad for this particular thing which is installing the light what good would a ginormous articulating desk lamp be if it didn't have a disgustingly bloody bright light sorry jim blinding you here ah, gosh that's awful it wouldn't be very useful without that light but it also wouldn't be very useful if it was exactly that light because it is so harsh and from such a tiny light source that it would make for incredibly unpleasing light in this workshop and so what i've done is i've purchased not one, not two, not three, but four sheets of acrylic. They're all three millimeters thick. And we're going to use either one, two, three, or all four of them to diffuse the light and color it just perfectly. This is a common thing that gets done in kind of film or theater lighting. They have what are called, I forgot. It's like uh, gels. I was thinking jelly. You were thinking jelly. I was thinking jelly and I was like, it's not jelly, it's like something like that. Yeah, so they're gels that they put in front of video lights and things like that to color an environment or theater light. We're making our own gels, it's just they are whopping big ones. But obviously they need to be round, so we're gonna cut circles, plan a mounting system for the gels, then plan a mounting system for that horrible light. I tell you what, 
these offcuts of acrylic, when you put the corners like this, the result is you have a square space sponsorship. It is, in my view, the absolute best website building platform that there is because it is so incredibly easy to use. If you want to take your hobby and turn it into a business, you want to take your existing business and level it up, you can go to Squarespace and buy your domain there. You don't need to do any linking from different places because it's an all-in-one platform. Then they've got countless drag-and-drop themes for you to choose from. They're all incredibly beautiful and scale perfectly from mobile through to computer. You throw in the text that you need, the pictures that you want, and then the monetization options are limitless because you can sell unlimited physical or digital products using Squarespace. You can also sell your time and take bookings with Squarespace scheduling, sell access to members-only content using Squarespace member areas, and you can sell in person using Squarespace point of sale. And the best part is when you go to squarespace.com forward slash forge, you're gonna get a two week free trial. You can give it a go, see if you like it. And then using code forge at checkout is gonna get you 10% off your first purchase. So please go check them out. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to it. All right, let's see how much standoff the light should have from the diffusers. Wow, that's still very bright. That would be better. Oh, whoa, that's cool. All right. Whoa, orange. What does it look like? Does it look like we are over top of a big furnace? You got any good campfire stories? Yes. Uh, yeah. Once upon a time, I was around a burn barrel. Mm. Once upon a time, I was around a barrel of. Once upon. truth we've got two little things in there to diffuse it ah! let's see how it looks in the actual thing by god you look bright Jamie oh yeah look at that all right Jamie tangent time what is the story with this green spring so we had a YouTube comment suggestion which said why don't you try the springs out of a clay pigeon shooting trap and so I found this which is the biggest one I can find and it is very strong it's ridiculous I mean it is just Big, girthy, and stiff. We're already at nearly 40 kilograms. It hasn't even opened. What did the last one get to? 90? Yes. Yeah, the big like spring was 90 kilograms. Or 130. So that's already 90, and it's like not even moved. Uh, Jamie, this feels dangerous. It can't be that dangerous if it's barely moved. Well, it could still explode. I don't really know when fun. it's going to explode. Did he say maximum extension length? No. How do you know when it is going to break? He probably doesn't know the maximum extension length. Well, we might find out in a few seconds. <laughs> That's a hundred. I mean, it's barely moved. Hope I'm not gonna die here. What did we say we needed, 140? Something like that. Just keep going, send it. What do you mean, send it? Just keep lifting. Well, that's 140. Oh, and it's lifting the anvil. Well, keep lifting. Why don't you keep lifting? Because I'm over here filming. Yeah, well, I'll take the camera and I'll go and stand up there. All right. <laughs> oh, all right, that's 200 kilos. Look at it flex! Doing, doing, doing. Imagine if it did just break. The thing is, is we need more um, stretch. Like, it's useless if it only moves this much, right? Are you saying it's too strong? It's possible that it's too strong. Well, what is that reading now? 200. 240 at max. Well, th that's heavier than the lamp. Yeah, but it needs to extend further. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, th that's the, lamp, what... the lamp is w less than that, and that's only one spring. We're gonna have three on it. It might not work. That's what I'm saying. We should have made the lamp heavier. <laughs> you want to ride on it, Jamie? Anvil pogo stick? Yes, please. Ooh! Next up, we've got to assemble the top cone. A little bit of grinding, a little bit of cutting, a little bit of welding, and it's on. Stupidest thing I've ever seen Alec do. He's putting the holes in it after he's bent it and he thinks he's going to drill through that without well, wiring it. Uh, are you familiar with the term or the. Uh, actually, yes, you are. You are familiar with the concept of having an accident because you are one. <laughs> All right, 
everybody. We got this thing put together. It sounds good, looking good, different story. The welding on this thing is absolute crap. It's awful. I had to use TIG welding rod as filler with my MIG <laughs> welder to be able to do the last set of welds. Next up, we need to work out how we're gonna mount this thing on this version. We have a very simple little light steel bracket here, little plastic washers, and a simple pin. We're probably gonna have to engineer it a little bit more than that. So doesn't this wanna be in the middle of the balance point of this lamp? Probably make life easy, wouldn't it? So how do we find that out? I don't know, with some string. All right, where does she balance? Not there. Why is there a pizza box in there? Oh, I forgot. Donuts. <laughs> oh. You want a donut, Jamie? Thank you. Oh, no worries. Well, right, it's not easy to balance a giant lampshade, but that's pretty close. Do a little line either side of the rope. Right, what do you reckon, Jamie? About what? About life. Well, my foot is broken. You've been limping around. I've been limping around for the last two weeks. Oof. It's very dull. But you're gonna heal it this weekend by resting and not doing anything severe on your foot, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. He's lying. Right here, what we've gone ahead and did is I've taken a plate of three millimeter flat bar and I sunk in a bolt so that it would be flush. That bolt has been welded, and then the plate itself has been welded just beautifully into the middle section here. It's at the balance point, I hope. Give it a hold, a little quick hold. Yep, and then we give it a side. Oh, that's loud. All right, and it should shoot. All right, we did not weld it in the balance point. It's close, I mean, it's, it could be a lot worse. Oh boy. All right, so with those bolts sticking out, we need to make the actual loop that's going to hold it and affix it to the arm. A Little bit of flat bar. Holes bending. Sort of. Right, who wants to see me break my brand new tool? Because I'm quite certain it's not rated to bend this thickness of flat bar. It did not look like it's bending. It's starting to bend a little bit. Just slightly. Jesus. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was nearly a serious face accident for both of us. That was stressful. Oh, yes! Oh, oh. Oh. Folks, it's absolutely obscene. And I absolutely love it. I think we're going to have it finished in the next episode.